Welcome back to the channel where it is time to review Christmas movies. Now I will go and actually give you my recommendations up front and then hopefully you'll stay around and go ahead and actually unwrap the presents on why I gave it those recommendations. So my four different categories for Christmas movies are an instant Christmas classic. One of those ones that you go ahead and actually watch on a cold cocoa driven night. Another one is, yeah, you just put it on in the background while you're wrapping presents or the last one is you go ahead and actually put it in the stocking as cold. So those are my recommendation categories for Christmas on the Ranch. I'm going to say if you're a target audience that you are into romantic Christmas movies, you're all about that life. I'm going to say that this is one that you want to go and actually put on while you're wrapping presents. If you are a casual person that you're not about that life, you don't really like those Christmas romance movies. I'm actually going to give it the exact same rating that you're going to go and actually put it in the background while you're wrapping presents. I know it sounds intriguing, so stay tuned and I'll go and actually justify my recommendations. Hey, Corey, is that a yes? Yes. Hey, it's a yes. This is Christina Campbell in Cedar Grove, Ohio. I'm at the Cedar Grove Ranch with its owner, Corey Henderson. Now it's Christmas on the Ranch is a Christmas romance movie that premiered on Hulu in November of 2024. It has a runtime of a nice little hour and 26 minutes, and it stars Houston Rines as Corey Henderson. He's a character actor from many different TV movies and shows, nothing prominent, but he's out there. There's also Jade Harlow as Christina Campbell. You may know her best as she actually played in 90 episodes of the TV series The Bay. And last but not least, Amy Sloan as Laura Hall. And she's actually acted in movies like The Day After Tomorrow and The Aviator. So that's who's in it. Let's take a look and see what this movie is about. Now, IMDb has it as when a talk show relationship expert with her own romantic hangups gets stranded at a ranch before Christmas, the charming rancher reminds her that love is always worth the risk. Now, I am going to be honest. If you are any type of person that has actually watched Christmas movies during this time, that synopsis, you are not unfamiliar with. Let's just put it that way. So let's just go ahead and actually do the checkoff list on here and see if I'm the target audience for this or not. It's a Christmas, mo Christmas movie. Check. I love Christmas movies. It's a romance movie. Meh. Minus. Not great. Very little known actors, not well known. It's a minus for me on there. Sometimes that could be a benefit or what have you, but most of the time, especially for Christmas movies, it would be nice to go and actually know an actor or two. So that's a minus. But probably the biggest thing for me is that this movie, as whether you watch the trailer or whether you read the synopsis, this has all the feelings of being a Hallmark Lifetime Oxygen all-american movie channel um cookie cutter christmas movie and that in and of itself of kind of just being a premise that has been seen over and over again is a minus for me so when i take up the pluses and minuses i will just go ahead and actually let you know i am a casual viewer up front the reason why i let you know that is that you should always know the perspective of your reviewer where they're coming from as they're giving you their opinion i think that's important for you to make an educated decision the way that things work around here is I watch a lot of movies so you don't have to and give you my personal recommendations. If you like how that sounds, do me a favor, click like, share, subscribe. And now let's dive into Christmas on the Ranch. So I'd like to always go ahead and actually give my viewers a little bit of synopsis of where a movie, like what elements of other movies that I've watched or what have you, can I go ahead and actually relate this to so that you can kind of really get the vibe of this one, you know, just to kind of get some frame of reference. I had a lot of difficulty doing that. That one is because I'm not the target audience, so I don't like these movies typically. And so I don't I don't watch a lot of them. So being able to uh, do that is very difficult. However, I kind of came up with the factor. There's there some movies by the factor of what I reviewed that I do remember watching a movie called uh, Christmas Frequency and a movie called falling for christmas and those two elements of there's like the country aspects of things i mean the rancher girl city all that kind of jazz but there's also an element of like podcasting and broadcast or what have you that is also in there and those two movies kind of marry those two subject matters in there so that's the closest i could go ahead and actually get but there's probably a lot of movies that are very similar to it but 
from my vantage point, those are the ones that it's most like. Now, the way I grade things is kind of, I look at storytelling, I look at acting. So first and foremost, for me, storytelling in this particular movie, it's a D plus. First and foremost, as I've already iterated, there's nothing original, compelling, or even particularly entertaining about this movie. It gives you the standard one act of introducing the characters, who they are, how they met, all that kind of stuff. Uh, second act of them getting to know each other, the romantic overtures, and starting to present obstacles on why it may not work. And then when they go and actually go beat for beat, there's nothing about this that's horrible, but there's nothing that's great about it. And so they're hitting all the different paint by the numbers aspect that it takes to execute these types of films. And that makes it very bland. The one thing that we're going to actually say that makes this maybe a little bit of a different feel to it is that um, the horse therapy that's in here, that's the subject matter of what this rancher does mm -hmm. is at least that is compelling because you know it's it's very nice it's very noble it's very altruistic or what have you the other thing about this is that because it's such a tidy runtime on there this is very uh quick scenes nothing lingers too too long or anything like that so you're not going to get too bored in the realm of just like wearing on scenes or anything like that but it really doesn't do anything different from like usual formulas or what have you and any attempts that are made at like comedy or romance are kind of flat to here and thusly the storytelling here is just not great and so d plus is what i have it at for acting for this cast i'm gonna go and actually give a i believe it's a generous c minus i think everyone serviced their characters just fine it wasn't like horrible it wasn't like big gaffes or things that i would laugh at or anything overall i think everybody did what they needed to in this particular series uh, but the dialogue nor the story nor the story were even compelling at all so i don't know if the actors could have done more with more material but they didn't and so here we go and actually lie one of the things that i kind of held out against with the two lead actors is that there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of romantic chemistry with them it's just like yeah they're like two objectively like decent looking people or whatever they're not ugly um they're not super gorgeous they're you know pretty decent looking folks or what have you but they didn't seem to kind of like vibe and, and, and spark anything and then the other thing that kind of drew me away as far as their acting is that it was very saccharine laced it's very sugar sweet because one one of them is always smiling in the scene sometimes both of them most of the time both of them are right and so that's just so disingenuous like the smiling thing and and i guess they're trying to imply that you know this is them you know romantic and, and and meeting someone that they really are vibing with or what have you but even when you're vibing with somebody out there you're not smiling all the time just ah it was just a little too much sweet tooth uh, again you might get some cavities watching that and so from that aspect of it the acting wasn't done very well i think amy sloan was given the most to work with as the sister-in-law but then the writers about halfway through killed any aspect that she had to go ahead and actually kind of bring a little bit more gravitas to it i think she's probably about the one that got the most to do and just that that was about it so acting on this is kind of like you know it's it, it's a c plus type of deal it's not really much else to go with it overall i find that this is a type of movie that you'll find in the bargain bin at walmart just being real um it's not offensive it's not controversial it's not judgmental none of that um but it's also not creative it's not original and it's not entertaining you know the best things that i can say about it is that it has a nice nice message too as most of these movies do in regards to going actually finding romance and all that kind of good stuff um and then probably the biggest draw for this one is because it is set at christmas there is christmas at every turn on every scene on there there's no way that you could not know that this is taking place during christmas and so when i give the recommendation of this is nice to have on in the background of why you're wrapping presents or what have you is because you're constantly reminded that this is a christmas movie and so if you have people that are just wrapping presents or you know having a get together what have you and just playing in the background it will constantly remind you ah we're in a christmas holiday spirit and i think that's worth a little bit of something but outside of you know being a diehard hallmark fan I don't think that there's going to be a lot here for you. That's what I have for Christmas on the Ranch, now showing on Hulu. Check it out. I, I had a really good time tonight. Yeah, I did too. Good night. I appreciate you staying for the whole review. I really do. Do me a favor. If you liked anything on this, go ahead and actually click like or share or subscribe. 
And if you're not quite sure if you like everything on this, do, do me a favor and watch one of the other reviews that the algorithm seems to think that you will like of mine. But until the next time, have a happy holidays, all that kind of jazz, and I will talk to you later. Incidentally, I know how you feel about all this Christmas business, getting depressed and all that. It happens to me every year. I never get what I really want. I always get a lot of stupid toys or a bicycle or clothes or something like that. What is it you want? Real estate.